My name is Stephen Brody. Uh, I attended the University of Iowa intensive wrestling camp during the summer of 1978. It was the very first year they had held the camp. And I am currently a practicing attorney in Crystal Lake, Illinois. Tom Ryan, head wrestling coach, Ohio State University. And I was a camper at the Jay Robinson four-week intensive camp in the summer of 85 and the summer of 86. My name is Rohan Murphy from Long Island, New York. I went to Jay Robinson's 28-day wrestling camp in 99 and 2000. And right now I'm a youth motivational speaker. I go to middle schools and high schools and some colleges across the country to tell my story. Tony Nelson uh, went to camp in 2005 in Iowa, won my national championships in 2012 and 2013. And as of right now, I'm uh, competing on the international circuit, uh, trying to make world and Olympic teams. My name is Lloyd Hermston. I did the 28 day camp in 2011 in Minneapolis, and now I'm a student at EWSP, finishing up school there and coaching. The strongest memories of camp would certainly be, um, certainly be the intense workload. I mean, for me, the, the, when I think of that camp, I think of the amount of work in a day that a human being can get done and then wake up the next day and do it again and again and again, which I've learned now as a coach, that would be probably the definition of grit. And you learn grit. So for me, looking back, it was that, it was that grittiness that I learned there. I remember the University of Iowa has 48 stairs in the back of the field house because we used to run those with a man on our back. And I remember taking that Iowa campus bus and not being able to lift my legs to get up the step to get on the bus. The first run we did was a stair work, 25 minute stair workout. And about 15, 10, 15 minutes in, I hurled over the railing. The coach said, get, get back up and go. And I kept running. So <laughs> I finished the workout, but I remember I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for camp and I, and I, I paid for it. <laughs> Uh, four workouts a day, like I said, early mornings, tough runs, uh, come back and do technique, wrestle live, and then at night have a drill or a lift. I mean, it, it, taught, me, it taught me things that I didn't, didn't, did not realize existed. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was extremely challenging. Yeah, I was um, an average, above average wrestler. It's my sophomore year, it was like, I don't know, 20 and 10, 20 and 12, kind of. And then the next year, I went to J-Rob and proved a lot, and next year I qualified for state, but I would, probably wouldn't have if I hadn't gone. Oh yeah, I definitely created a strong work ethic for me, where going through that camp, I know how hard I can, I'm physically able to train, and how hard, or how much I can push myself, and so when I went home or went to all my high school, college practices, I know I can go harder. The very last day of camp on a 28 day, for the very first time at camp, and I guess for the only time at camp, each wrestler was given a choice to run either five, 10, or even 15 miles. I make sure to tell all those students at schools, even though I didn't have legs, even though I was in a wheelchair, I did the 15 miles. Why? Because I want to be great. For me, I just want to be great. I want more out of life. I've always wanted better for myself.